I'm Sudhush Gadankar. Today I'm solving the problem of uh, bell drives. One question to problem, VTU. Design of, uh, design of machine element 2. Model 2. B question, 3B question I'm solving here. I select a V bell drive to transmit 18 kilowatt. They are given the V bell drive. Data is given. Data is given here. N or P is equal to. 18 kilowatt and pulley of diameter diameter d1 or d is given 100 mm and they are given it i am reading at 1500 rpm therefore n n1 is given 1500 rpm sorry for disturbance and the another is L2 is nothing but 750 rpm and central distance is given C is equal to 1 meter you have to convert into mm is 1000 mm 1000 mm 1000 mm okay but here there is no mu and there is no angle this is the type 2 problem in the wave belt there are two types when the mu is given and alpha alpha is given then what we have to do if both are not given then you have to follow this procedure that means when mu is not given and alpha is not given then only you have to follow this procedure otherwise you have to follow the same procedure in the case of v-bell drive one more in the case of v-bell drive you have to use it is to mu theta divided by sine alpha you have to use if it is a v-bell drive v-bell and we are not considering the thickness in case of velocity in the case of v-bell but in the case of flat belt and um, we have to consider the velocity while finding the well uh, while finding the velocity we have to consider the thickness there now these are these are the few parameters they are given it now this is the smaller pulley larger pulley and consider this is n1 d1 n2 d2 and this is center distance the larger it is can be d small d Okay. Next, first I will find out n1 d1 is equal to n2 d2. n1 divided by n1 by n2 is equal to d2 by d1. Here to substitute the formula, uh, sorry, data is 1500 divided by 750. You will get d2 divided by 100 and d2 will be capital D is nothing but 200 mm 200 mm you are finding the number of belts that is i we are finding it now after doing this velocity v is equal to pi d1 n1 divided by 60,000 pi into d1 is 100 into n1 is 1500 divided by 60,000 is nothing but 7.85 meter per second next now the procedure starts step 1 nothing but what use the data handbook linear data handbook I am using the linear data handbook 1 by the linear data handbook Now in the data and book link here, I'm keeping it side. Now here I This is the formula, the list of the formulas we have to find out. The first we are using is this is the D is equal to DP is equal to FP. We are using this formula first. D is equal to DP is equal to FB. 
here dp is nothing but what d1 okay but in the data handbook they are given it dp now we have to find out fp fp is unknown here now how to find out this fp fb they have mentioned it you have to refer the table 21 dash 25 you have to go for table okay, this is the table you have to go 25 22 dash 25 this is the table you have to go 22 dash 25 this is the fb for finding the fb what we require speed ratio is required that is n1 by n2 is required n1 divided by n2 n1 by n2 is nothing but 1500 divided by 750 is nothing but 2 if it is 2 now see the ratio it lies here therefore the fb can be written as 1.13 right fb is equal to 1.13 that's it now find out de is equal to uh, d1 is nothing but 100 into 1.13 the answer will be 113 mm. 113 mm. Now, after completion of this one, again go back here. Next step after doing this DE, you have to go for maximum value DE. The our value we got is 113. That is, we got the 113 value here. This is the value we got it. That means it lies between these two. Oh, sorry, it lies here. Therefore, we have to consider A, cross section A. It is 113, therefore, you have to consider the higher value. Okay, I am considering the cross section A. We got the value 113. We have to consider higher, that is 125. I am considering the cross section 125. Let's consider the cross section 125. Step 2, I will consider step 2 belt cross section A cross section A now the formula for A is nothing but what this is the formula I have to write here I will write in the page now. here n star is nothing but V 0 0.45 divided by V 0 0.09 minus 19.62 divided by DE minus 0 0.76 5v square divided by 10 to 4. This is the formula I will write here and substitute. I am going to substitute the v values here. V value 7.85. I am going to substitute 7.85 0.45 divided by 7.85 raised to 0 0.09 minus 19.62 divided by 113 de value. Which is obtained here. We have obtained value we have to write here. And 0 0.765 into velocity. Velocity is 7.85 whole square divided by 10 raised to 4. If you calculate this value, the answer will be for this one 1.53 kilobyte. That's the answer we are going to obtain it. Okay, next step 3. After knowing this one, we are finding the number of belt. This formula we are using. This formula we are using. It. Now I will use that formula. I is equal to N FA divided by N star FC divided by FD. Now one by one we are finding. What is FA? I will write here. FA is nothing but what? Um, question mark. FA is nothing but they are given the tables here. Table number. The argument here is nothing but 21 dash 28 fc is nothing but 21 dash 27 fd is nothing but 21 dash 26 i'm going back this is the fa now i'm finding the fa here what is fa here fa is nothing but this is fa fa is nothing but correction factor for industrial service but in the question paper they are not given the correction factor Therefore, if they are not given, you can consider any of this one. Okay, you can consider any of this one. Light duty, medium duty, heavy duty. Or 
any of this type of the dreaming mechanisms. Here I am going to consider the medium duty 10 hours to 16 hours that is 1.2 I will consider here. FA. Okay, I will consider the FA as FA is equal to medium duty. Assuming it, we are assuming it. Assume. Assume it, okay. Assume it. Therefore, FA is nothing but 1.2. 10 hours to 16 hours. I will consider here. Once you know the FA, then you are going to find out the FC here. FC value. I will consider the FC value here. Now, how to find out the FC value? FC value is nothing but what? This is the FC value. The correction factor for belt length. For finding, we know that we got the A here. The cross section, we got A here. But we don't know the nominal length of the belt. We have to find out the nominal length. How to find out the nominal length? Again, we have to go back to the formulas. This is the formula. This is the formula. L is equal to 2C plus pi by 2 D by D capital D plus small d D minus D whole square divided by 4C. You will get the nominal length. First I will find the nominal length. L is equal to L is equal to 2C plus pi by 2 D plus D plus D minus D whole square divided by 4C. 2 into c is nothing but 1000 plus pi by 2 to d is nothing but 200 plus 100 plus 100 plus 200 minus 100 whole square divided by 4 into 1000 answer will be 4 4 73.73 mm this is the value we are obtained. Again, I'm going back to the table. Here, you have to refer this first. You have to refer this table. First, you have to refer this table. Okay. It is 44. 44. Check it out for this table. 44. 44. There is no 44 here. 44. Forty-four. There is no forty-four in the case of A. Here. The maximum is thirty-six. Maximum is thirty-six point three nine. Otherwise, you can directly go for this one. Forty-four. Or oh, maximum is this much. Forty-four is not there in the table. Then you have to consider. Maximum 3695, that is the 3658, you have to go for it. This is the maximum here. A here. After, there is no values here. Therefore, 3696, you have to consider. Length, 44 point. Something we have obtained it. Okay. Either you can use this one. Yeah, that's nice. Say three two or section three four. Three two. Answer is forty four. Maximum we can consider is here 3696. FC value. What do I consider this one? Okay, okay, okay. The near value is the 3887 here. 3699 but 3887 that is 
1.14 this is the fc and the actual length is length is how much 3 to 5 1 mm this is the actual length we got it fc is 1.14 now we are finding what fd fd for fd what they have said it this is the fd correction factor we have required the arc of contact for this one again you have to go back to the formula this is the formula for finding the arc of contact theta is equal to cos inverse d by d divided by 2 c you have to you will get the theta ok i will take the formula theta is equal to theta is equal to 2 cons, cos inverse d by d divided by 2 c 2 cos inverse 200 minus 100 divided by 2 into 1000 answer will be 17 sorry 174.26 that's the answer we got it now again go back to this paper 174 174 174 this is the one from 0.99 FD is nothing but 0 0.99. Now, FD is nothing but FD is nothing but 0, 0 0.99. Everything we got it substitute in this formula. Everything we got it substitute in this formula. I'm just going to substitute here. I'll take the same sheet here. To this I is equal to what is it? 18 into 1.2 divided by 1.53 into 1.14 into 0.99 if you substitute it, the answer will be 12.50 approximately you will consider 13 belt in this way you have to solve the problem i am sudhush thank you very much